What are some myths associated with ADHD? Probably the most interesting myth about ADHD is that it doesn't exist at all. And um, that there's plenty of very good science to help us, in fact, have confidence that ADHD um, is a real disorder and it affects a lot of people. Notice I said people, not just children. It isn't uh, the case that only children have ADHD. Um, adults also have ADHD. And again, this is one of the things that we've learned over time through scientific studies. That where, whereas in years past, people thought, well, children outgrow ADHD. Um, that's not the case. It may change in its appearance. And many times, as we become young adults and then adults, we develop ways of coping with the demands of ADHD. And we can function, and we can do pretty well, in some cases do very well, um, because we develop strategies for coping with the disorganization, with the problems, with attending, with resisting distraction, and so on. So um, probably the biggest myth is that it doesn't exist. It certainly does. Um, another interesting myth was that it was caused by diet, especially food colorings and things like that. And there's a lot of good science that says that's not true. That uh, taking your child off of food colorings and such um, doesn't make them no longer have a disability or, or, or a disorder like ADHD.